Hi everyone, just an update again in regard to the EBA process and what's happened since the election. Uh, as you know, a new government was elected last Saturday, new Premier in Daniel Andrews, and also we now have a new Health Minister in Jill Hennessy. I had a conversation with Jill last night, uh, Thursday night, and um, there are some positive um, issues uh, come out of that conversation and the, the Premier has written the letters to the Fair Work Commission and to Ambulance Victoria and we've circulated those on Facebook is my understanding in regard to our work value case um, being sent off to the uh, Fair Work Commission. We've also made contact with Ambulance Victoria and we've confirmed that there's a meeting next Monday, an EBA meeting next Monday. Uh, we're hopeful that we can progress the discussions um, next Monday and also trying to get it to a finalised position on an in-principle agreement within the next week or two that at least a document can come out to you before Christmas for review. Now that's not going to be easy but that's our aim and I'm sure that's Ambulance Victoria's aim. Uh, after discussions with Ambulance Victoria. So we're hopeful that we can get all the outstanding issues finalised. Uh, the process of work value will um, fall out of that in regard to there will be reference to the work value case in the Enterprise Agreement. The Premier has written to the Fair Work Commission, has written to Ambulance Victoria and we're hopeful that if we can get an in principle agreement it will come out to the vote of the members. That vote probably won't be completed until early into the new year and after that vote is completed if it's successful the agreement would be approved by hopefully approved by the Fair Work Commission and then the benefits of that agreement can start to roll out to you. It is possible um, if we reach an in principle agreement with AV that they may decide to uh, pay the sign on bonus earlier than uh, expected uh, because uh, they don't have to pay it until the Fair Work Commission um, approves the agreement, but we'll have some discussions with Ambulance Victoria about that. Um, as you'd be aware, the, um, the board has resigned as of today, Friday the 5th of December, and there'll be a new uh, committee of management sought over probably the next few months uh, to uh, be selected and elected to the board. There's a new administrator who has been um, selected that will oversee the running of the ambulance service. You also have an interim CEO in Andrew Way and um, there are many, many positive things happening and you'll see probably many, many changes over the next few weeks and months uh, that probably you've never even expected of ever before within our industry. So we're really positive about it. Our members are really positive about it. The response has been overwhelming in regard to just what's happened in the last week. And it feels like there's been a total weight lifted off everyone's shoulders. We're happy to work with the government as best we possibly can. Happy to work with Ambulance Victoria to bring about a closure of this episode of the ambulance history uh, and for you to start receiving your wage, improved wages, improved benefits and hopefully as an outcome of a work value case some further increases to your, your, your fundamental wages and um, we think that's a great result. So congratulations to, to you. Yes, the bans are still on except for the writing on the windows of the ambulances. Once we reach an in principle agreement um, we'll, there will be seriously um, con serious consideration that in good faith we would suspend all bans, but that won't happen until further notice from us, until we get it to a position uh, that we think is something that we can recommend to you to accept as a final document. So thanks again, well done, still a lot of work to be done, but you are playing a huge part in probably one of the greatest changes in our industry, and I should have said earlier, we now um, have our own ministry uh, you know, the Department of, uh, or the Minister for Health and Ambulance. It's never ever happened before. I don't believe any other state has that. So you've made history in the efforts uh, that you've achieved as an outcome of this campaign. So well done, good luck, and we're hopeful that we can start to roll the benefits out in the not too distant future. Thanks very much.